Okay everyone, welcome back to part 4. Uh, I've actually tried to record this part like 3 or 4 times today and kept getting interrupted every single time. So, um, I'm actually not feeling like trying too super hard in this section and in fact, I'm going to be playing a little drinking game because I'm just in that kind of mood. So, basically, every time I make a misprediction or my Pokemon faint, then I'm just going to be taking a nice little sip throughout these one or two games. Hopefully, you know, I don't have to drink too much. Hopefully I do pretty well. But either way, I'm going to be having some fun. So why don't we just go ahead and crack this. I don't know if you heard that, but it's open now. And I'm going to get a battle. So let's see how it goes. The other times I tried to record this today, I got a few losses, a couple wins, but nothing too stellar. Uh, nothing I was really impressed with anyway. So we're going to start this off. Um... <clears throat> I'm kind of expecting him to lead with either his Archeops or his Seismitoad. So I have a couple of different options for leads in that instance because I don't have a lead that can handle both of them. However, considering that I'm thinking it's mostly going to be Archeops, I'm going to... No, actually I'm going to lead with my, my Ludicolo because I think it can handle a lot of the other stuff on his team and if it's an unfavorable lead matchup then I can switch into my Gramble and everything will be okay. So that's what I'm gonna do. Hopefully uh, my opponent doesn't take forever to make his move here. I also experienced an ass load, an absolute metric fuck ton of lag earlier. I was trying to record this in a different video format than, uh, than I normally do because I don't really care for the grainy quality that I often get. And it, as it turns out, the other format can actually produce a better looking uh, quality for like the background and the animations and everything, but everything gets super laggy. Uh, but yes, he does lead with Seismitoad, which is exactly what I wanted. He is definitely going to fear the... Uh, the grass type move right here so he's got a couple options he could go into his typhlosion though that's a very bad choice considering that I am part water type most likely he's going to go into his what do you call that thing his Pharisee because it does take me on very well in that sense I don't have anything that can really take it on very well so I am just going to go for the Giga Drain um, he goes into his Gramble which is totally fine actually because that takes a huge chunk of damage and let's see I don't have an awesome switch in for this thing I don't think that he can KO me in one shot and to be honest I don't really need this thing as much for the rest of his team I mean I could definitely use it for Seismitoad but I do have Mesprit for that which I've been meaning to change the move set of I think I'm going to, in the future, get rid of Stealth Rocks and put on Ice Beam or something like that. Because I like the coverage better and I don't use Stealth Rocks all that often. So right here, I could definitely go for the Scald, but it won't do much more than Giga Drain did. Fuck it, I'm going to go for it anyway. Maybe I'll get a burn. Oh, I get a crit. Ooh, uh, definitely have to give him a sad face. Uh, he quit. So, all right. Just gonna get another real battle. Alright, so I'm up against Savage Toaster, who I was actually chatting with in the NU chat earlier, uh, just a little bit. I mean, not directly, but you know, he was there. So I know all about him. He's got his Magnemite, which is really cool. I actually really like that. Um, as far as leads are concerned, I'm sort of expecting Pangoro because of Parting Shot. Nothing else on his team really looks like a good lead, so he gives me a nice little face back. Um, I'm gonna lead off with my this and that was not a good play but I'm actually gonna take a drink for that one because I did get put in a compromising position there honestly he has no real reason not to go for the the sludge bomb to try and take me out I know I can live it, but I'd really like to have this thing around for Pangoro in the future. Um, 
Alternatively, I could switch into my Dragalge, even though he could possibly trick. Um, looking at his team, uh, he has a couple of things that could switch into Dragalge without fear, including Magnemite, uh, even though it couldn't do a whole lot, and his Vileplume, because I can't really touch Vileplume very well. So I think as long as he's not Specs, I can take a Sludge Bomb, so that's what he's Specs. So no, he's Life Orb. Okay. Well, definitely overpredicted there. This thing has terrible, terrible special defense. I'm so disappointed. Um, I, I don't know how fast Haunter actually is. So what I'm going to do is Haunter 95, faster than my whole team, which is just great. And that means that I, I really, really have to go into Dragology right here. Uh, considering that my Gramble couldn't take a Sludge Bomb, I really don't think Ludicolo is going to be taking one much better either. And I'd really like to have that around for something else on his team. So Sludge Wave is obviously not my option at the moment. Sludge Wave, the only thing he has to resist Sludge Wave is his Magnemite. He's not going to switch that in most likely, but... I don't think he's going to switch in his Vileplume either, so he does switch in Magmite, which is okay. I don't get a burn. I'm still not scared of this thing, though, so I'm going to go for another Scald. I outspeed. I don't get a burn. He gets a crit, of course, so that's super good. <laughs> and what that means is I can still go for another Scald. I don't really care what he switches into. I hope this gets a burn. Why have I not gotten any sort of... Any sort of burns? I don't know. But Skull did enough to kill this. I don't think I can live a Shadow Ball from this range. It'd be way too ballsy. Oh, I do. Okay, I was going to say it would be way too ballsy to live... I mean, to go into Zangoose right here because I know I will not speed it. Uh, if he's timid. Man, Zangoose needs to be faster. <laughs> he honestly does. Right here, he could pretty much do anything he wants to. If he wants to try and set up, he can, but I'm going to stay in and do that. Now, I can definitely go into this. And I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid of anything on his team at the moment, so I am just going to go for the Giga Drain. Even if he wants to bring in Vileplume, that's okay, because I don't think he can beat me one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, he definitely cannot beat me one-on-one. -on -one. No, sir. Yeah. So, what I think he wants to do here is switch into something to take an Ice Beam, considering how valuable I'm sure he thinks his Vileplume is. He does not. I mean, he's got things to take an Ice Beam. He's got one, two, three things to take an Ice Beam. So, what I'm going to do is go for Scald here. He, he stays in for whatever reason. I don't, I don't understand that play. That was not a good play, but whatever. Apparently he didn't feel like it was appropriate to try and save his Vileplume, which I guess is understandable. It doesn't do a whole lot of work against the rest of my team. Um, but at the same rate, he might as well have tried to preserve anything he could. Um, so right here... I don't know what he wants to do. He might want to go for Sucker Punch, to be totally honest. And what I want to do... See, I don't want him to go for something crazy. But I feel like that's what he'll do, because he is expecting the Water-type move. I'm just going to go into my Pelipper right here. He does go for Sucker Punch. So, I made a good prediction. That's pretty good for me. I still don't have a reason not to go for Scald. If he wants to switch into his... Samurott, that's fine. He goes for Giga Drain, and that does quite a lot, but he's Life Orb, Scald. Okay, and what I'm going to do here is sacrifice my Ludicolo, because he's most likely going to go for that again. He's not going to get a lot of HP back, and I can go into my Zangoose, and I can go for Quick Attack. I might as well. He tried to stay in a Sucker Punch, which is totally fine. What I'm thinking here is that, huh, now this could be Scarfed, 
I don't really know, so I'm just going to go into my Pelipper again. I am physically defensive, and that doesn't take that very well, but I can live it. And I'm just going to go for Roost. Yes. No defense drops. So right here, he's going to want to switch into his... His Magnemite, I want to say. Because he's not getting anywhere. So I'm just going to go for Scald. And I don't know how fast this thing is. He's probably not Scarfed. No, he's not. So he loses his Magnemite. And I keep my Pelipper for another day. Now, <clears throat> let's see. He could definitely go in... He's probably going to go into his... Samurott right here. I wouldn't blame him for doing that because he saw that Pangoro can't do a ton to beat my my uh, Pelipper. Excuse me. So that's probably it. Unless he's got like Stone Edge, he might. But I think he went for the Crunch back there knowing that fighting would not do well against either of my two. Pokemon, and he was possibly expecting me to switch into Mesprit uh, above Pelipper. Even though that really wasn't the best play for me. But I guess he doesn't know, didn't know that this was physically defensive at the time. So he's going to take a little bit to decide on what he's going to do. Honestly, I'm predicting, this is a prediction, so if I'm wrong, you know, whatever, I'll take another drink. I'm, <laughs> I'm hoping to. Um, he's going to go into a Samurai, is, is my guess. Come on now. Toast. Come on, Toast. But yeah, like I was saying before, I tried to record this like so many times and there was someone doing construction right next door. Uh, at one point, someone gave me a phone call right as I started my recording another time and someone came and knocked on my door another time again. So. <laughs> uh, I'm definitely not in the mood to try too hard, but I am in the mood to get some games in and put out some content. So, you know, hopefully you guys can enjoy this this last part, and hopefully I can pull out at least one win um, that's not a forfeit for for the end of this. So, uh, I'm gonna do a little lag test right here because I don't wanna I don't wanna rustle this dude's jimmies or anything like that. I'm just gonna. See, okay, so there's no real lag. I'm just going to toss that timer on because I'm not trying to wait forever. And, you know, he's only got two options at this point. He might be calcing maybe how much an Ice Beam or something does to does to Pelipper from Samurai. That's the only thing I can really imagine, unless he's got something more super effective on his Pangoro, which I don't think he does. I'm not sure that it's... I'm not sure that it's Scarf, but it's definitely Speed Infested, because as far as I remember, it's slower than Pelipper. Yes, it is. So it's definitely got some Speed Investment, but I don't think it's Scarfed. Um, and if it is, it can't really go for uh, Close Combat as long as I have Mesprit around. And, and Pelipper. So my Zangoose is virtually safe against the Pangoro at the moment as long as it can live a crunch, which I think it probably can. I mean, if it's scarfed, if it's a scarf crunch, then I should be able to live with Zangoose from full. And Zangoose is chilling in the back right now, chilling at full. And that's just great for me. Hold on, let me see how fast Samurott is. He is slower than my Zangoose, so if he's mixed at all, he'll have to go for Aqua Jet to to stop my Zangoose, which is also a bonus. You know what, I'm going to uh, going to pause now because it seems like he's taking about a year and a day to make this really easy decision, so I'll be back. Or not, I guess, I don't know. My pause feature is not seeming to work. Uh, hold on. Okay, as you can see, he lost due to inactivity, and uh, that means I'm going to be <laughs> getting another game because I'm pretty sure I had that one unlock. I just want to get a full game, whether I win or lose, I want to get a full game to finish this session off because it's, I mean, this session's been going on for like a week and a half now, which is a disappointment on my part. I really should have done this a lot quicker, a lot sooner, but 
All right, we got PC Fan 3 here, so that's cool. Um, <clears throat> he's got some cool mons, like like this uh, Frogadier and Sligu. Um, that being said, he's also got this thing, which is probably a lead. I honestly, I just want to lead with my Gramble. Yes, yeah, so that was a lead. I wasn't wrong. He gets the attack drop, and I have no reason. I have no reason at all not to go for play rough right here. Hopefully I don't miss. He does go into his mag mortar, but it's not like I care. That does a lot of damage. Um, and since I am AV, I'll be taking this flamethrower for days, and he'll be dying to this earthquake. So there goes mag mortar. He forfeits. Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness, people, please stop. My team is not that good. My team is moderately okay. Oh, there's the swagmar. There's the Swagmar. I see a Swagmar on the other side of the field. And if I had to guess, I would say Seismitope was his lead. But he's probably predicting that. Um, and maybe he'll lead with something like Mesprit. He's got a couple of things that can U-turn the Mesprit and the Leopard. I don't think Leopard's going to be a U-turner, though. So, um, either way, I'm going to lead with my Ludicolo. He might not think that it's a lead Ludicolo by any means, so he leads with Leopard. Don't know what he wants to do here, and that's kind of a bummer, but I, I guess I really don't have... He might T-Wave, I guess, but I don't think Swagmar is that kind of guy. So honestly, I could switch into my... I'm just going to switch into my Gramble. There's no reason not to. It's a dark type. And he's just gonna go for yeah U-turn, and he's got some things that might be able to take me on. Most particularly his Bioplume, I want to say. Nope, Pyroar. Pyroar is not. <laughs> Pyroar is not a switch in, bro. You missed. Oh no! Please don't forfeit Swagmar. <laughs> Please don't. Sorry, man. I have to tell him sorry. Um, that that shit happens though. It just does. Now I'm gonna go into my. Mesprit, and I'm not going to take a whole lot from from the uh, Sludge Bomb Sleep Powder. He hits that. That's pretty good, but I'm just going to stay in. I'm going to try and go for Signal Beam. I'm not going to wake up anyway. <laughs> and yeah, he does go into Leopard, which is fine. I get that, that turn right there. He doesn't have too much to switch in on my Gramble except for the Vile Plume, which he probably will, but like I said, I can switch my Mesprit back in and he doesn't know that I have Signal Beam, so I'm going to lure him into a self, uh, a sense of security, I guess, as long as I can wake up with my Mesprit soon enough uh, to where, you know, he thinks I bring in my Mesprit, he goes for some damage, he doesn't want me to wake up and go for Psy Shock, so he switches into his Dark type and then gets popped with a signal beam. That's basically my thought process there. I think in a couple of turns ahead, but with a team like his where it's awfully kind of standard, you can kind of tell what what he's going to do. So I am going to go for signal beam here. He stays in. He stays in. <laughs> so that was a, a misplay on my part. But now he knows, I guess. I don't know. I'm going to go for another. I'm going to go for a, a side shot here. Oh. Okay, he goes into Seismitoad, which is fine. Um, now, hopefully he doesn't make a double right here into his Vileplume again to kill me off. So I'm, I'm going to take a drink for one second. That was an awfully big drink. Um, hopefully he doesn't expect me to have Energy Ball. No, he, he pulls it double into his own Mesprit, which is good, but that takes a lot of damage too. I die off. But I know as long as he's not... Well, he could be Scarfed. Do I want to take the chance of him being Scarfed? See, I don't know because he doesn't have an item. But he could be Life Orb, he could be Assault Vest. I don't think he's Assault Vest. Judging by that damage. And I do think he's offensive. So... I'm thinking I'm going to go into my Gramble here. 
in case he's got a uh, physical attack. I don't know. But he's probably going to switch into his file plume. You know what? He's... Let me think about this. I've been kind of rushing into this. <laughs> what is that vile plume at? 77? I honestly think I could take it out with a facade, but I really don't want to pull that double right now. Um, if he proves to me that he'll do that kind of thing, I think there will be another point in the battle where I can make the double into Zangoose and then pop something with a facade. But for now, I I'm going to play safe and see if I can take a hit from this Mesprit because, you know, worst case scenario, he does go into Bioplume and I go into my, I go into my Dragology as he probably goes for Sleep Powder, to be honest. But, you know, chip damage is chip damage on Bioplume. Chip damage is chip damage. And I'd rather have this thing alive, uh, awake than... Uh, man. Which doesn't look too useful. I'm gonna go into my Dragology. Dragology doesn't look very useful. He does go for Sleep Power, so I was right about that. And right here, he might just stay in to get some damage off, but he also might pull a double into his Mesprit. So... Hmm. Or he might pull a switch into his Seismitoad, trying to get up rocks. So I think maybe he might just go for the synthesis if he's got synthesis. So he does go into his Leopard here, which is fine with me, honestly. Um, I am physically defensive. He does appear to be physically offensive, so I know I'll be taking any dark hits, any, any play roughs, Honestly, it wouldn't make sense for him to go for play rough right here. Uh, he's probably going to go for knockoff, and I don't want to switch in my gramble on the the knockoff. So he gets poisoned, and I stay asleep, which is okay. But um, you know, I'm just going to go for another sludge bomb. He goes for U-turn, but I just want to get some damage off on whatever. He's probably going to go in Seismitoad. That's probably his best bet. No, he goes into Hairy Mama. And he gets a little bit of damage on him. And I'm just going to go right into my Pelipper, uh, expecting maybe a fake out. Because that's the only reason that he would bring this thing in is just to get chip damage off on my Trigalgy at this point. And I know that Pelipper can totally take on this thing. And just go for an air slash, really. There's he goes for knockoff, which is which was a good play. Definitely a good play. I'm gonna gonna drink to that. I can drink to that. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> now nothing on his team except for Vile Plume has any sort of reliable recovery. So I'm just gonna get some damage off on this thing. Unfortunately I do get the flinch, but I don't you know, I don't care, I guess. Nothing I can do about that. I'm just, I'm not going to go for Scald because there are two things on his team that can take that way too well, and it's just not worth it to me to go for anything but the super effective Air Slash, even though it doesn't do a whole lot of damage. This is certainly an Assault Vest Hariyama. Luckily, it is slower than Pelipper. Pelipper is too fast for Hariyama, and too fat to be taken down by Hariyama. So... What I'm thinking here is, I can't believe he pulled that crap on me with the, uh, the Vile Plume. I don't know what Seismitoad can really do here, due to me. Uh, he, he, he outspeeds me, I want to say. I want to say Seismitoad outspeeds Pelipper. But, Water, I mean, Scald might do some damage. And obviously, Earthquake is not going to be doing anything. Earth Power is not going to be doing anything. And, I don't know. I'm, I'm still in a decent position to keep going for Air Slashes because it'll do some decent damage to anything on his team. As I've said probably five times now because, I don't know, I guess I'm rambling. Let's see, what do we got here? Come on now. I got another flinch. Um, again, he, he knows he's not end bitch, so he's not going to complain. 
he, he knows it's all part of the game and he knows that I can't go for a water move so I might as well just do this. If he does go for rocks, which I think is his most likely play at this point, then he will have to deal with me defogging because I do have defog. Um, I also have roost and I don't know this is this is definitely a good battle uh, even though I, I made a huge misplay with my mess right there I honestly I don't know why he didn't switch into his oh I know why he didn't switch into his leopard on my mess right. he was expecting me to pull a double into my grand bull expecting the the leopard so uh, we both kind of over predicted <laughs> And he gets up his rocks. Uh, right now, I could go for another air slash. Or I could just go for defog. If I go for defog, I won't be able to knock him out with the next air slash. If I go for air slash, I'll never get a chance to defog. Because of Mesprit. So what I'm going to do... I'm going to defog because I do have something that can revenge kill this, and I, like I said, I don't think he can do anything to me, except get a Scald Burn, because he's like that. And right here, I can go back to getting Air Slashes off, and I do kill him, so no rocks for him. And at this point, I outspeed his other thing, his uh, Hariyama, but it's at how much health? It's at 58, so I think it'll die to a facade if I can bring in... If I can bring in Zangus on something slower, like it, or the uh, Vileplume, then mm, I don't have a good way to get my orb activated unless I pull a double. But right here, I honestly... I don't see much of a reason to do, to do anything but... Um, I guess I'll roost. I don't know. Honestly, he's probably he's gonna outspeed me, and he is most likely going to go for either a Psychic, Psy Shock, or Thunderbolt. Those are probably yeah. He just goes for a Psychic, which he's Life Orb. So now I can bring in. He gave me the opportunity that I needed to get my my orb activated, which is exactly why I stayed in with Pelipper just to see whether or not this thing was life orb or what see if it was scarf I can oh that was not a play bro do not okay oh he got the no way did he get the poison on me no way alright whatever facade it is bam file plume's gone threat averted that means I can use my gramble super super effectively now that is amazing file plume is such a threat right here uh um I'm just going to bring in my Dragalge because it has the least use on my team after being knocked off and I knew he would go for Bullet Punch instead of Fake Out because my Gramble switch in was too obvious and that means I can definitely go straight for the Sludge Wave. He's, yeah, he just has Ice Punch but I honestly do not care because I can bring this in as well and go for the Scald? No reason not to go for Scald. I get the burn. Oh man, I've, I have just hacked the hell out of this guy. Um, I'm really sorry, Swagmar, if you see this. Please know that I'm sorry. I, I did not ask for these these hacks. But uh, basically, I am just sacking this thing right here anyway. So I can, I can definitely handle Leopard right here with my Gramble. And Mesprit dies to uh, a facade and so does leopard so or does knockoff hmm i have to go for facade it's it's boosted i don't know what i'm talking about facade is just so strong crit didn't matter just gonna say that much right now uh, i'm gonna take another drink because i don't remember how many of these predictions i've been making and not making but i can really easily just go into Gramble right here. He goes for Sucker Punch. He goes for Sucker Punch, which I guess is not bad, but I suppose he just expected me to go 
for the attack on him and then wanting to save this. But I'm really not worried about taking any damage on the Gramble after a minus one. So, right, I, yeah, okay, he forfeits. GG. Um, that was a good game, and it was a, you know, it was close and a really, really good way to end off the session. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I guess I'll see you guys in a, a day or two with a new session with a new team that I made. Hopefully, uh, I'll use that team. I really liked it, um, at least in theory, so we'll see how it is in practice next time. So, until then, peace out! Nope, okay, you know what? Huh, never mind.